Okay, this is going to be a Hearst Velocity training video. Just uh, real quick, if you've uh, enrolled somebody new and the card did not work, and you're trying to figure out what happened, why is it not working, you went back and you looked, and they're on your list. See here, I just got through adding John Doe and Jane Doe. I've added both their cards, but it doesn't work for some reason. What you might want to do is come over to our event viewer, and if you have something like this, port socket air, if you get those error messages, you're probably not connected to your panel. First, we're going to test and see if you are connected. If you don't have both these windows open, you want to click Event Viewer and Administration. In Administration, we're going to open up the Digitrack configuration, XNet, New Export, and New Xbox. Yours might be labeled something a little different, but you see the icons are going to be similar. A folder, a crisscross arrows, a little box, and then something supposed to look like an open panel. If I click on the, the open panel and right click, I see I have an option called download. We want to download time and date. And if you get red text, it means you're not connected. See, I'm not connected currently. I have execution error, controller offline. So for whatever reason, my computer is not talking to the controller, or in this case, the panel. First thing we want to check is come down here to either the search bar or you can click on the Windows icon down here. Then you're going to type in the word Services. And when you click what shows up, Services app, you're going to get a pop-up. And it's a whole list of things that it can be or should be running on your computer. If we scroll down to the V for Velocity, you should have five things here. From Velocity CC Service all the way down to Velocity SQL Writer. And if you see over here, Currently, they are running. If they are not running, all five of them are not running, I would uh, suggest restarting your computer. When you restart a computer, these services will automatically restart. But assuming they're all running, let's proceed to the next step. The next step is I'm going to go to my, right here, right below XNet, I got the port, which is a crisscross arrows, and I'm going to right click. And currently it is enabled. I'm going to click that and then right click again. And you see the enable is no longer checked. I'm going to go to properties. You'll get a pop up screen. And it should look similar to this. You should have some numbers in here. And what you're going to do is you're going to hit ping. And this is going to be asking the computer just to send a little message to the network card of the panel. The screen pops up. And see for mine, it got reply. The next destination not, not reachable. And for me, I'm actually not physically connected to a panel, so I'm never going to get a good reply. But if you get a good reply, it's going to tell you it replied in 40 milliseconds, 50 milliseconds, something like that. If you're getting a reply, great. If you're not, if you get something like this, destination not reachable, you're going to need to power down the panel completely. Just connect one leg of a battery and power down the panel, either by a breaker or by unplugging it, if it has a cord plug-in, you want to power it off, leave it off for 10 seconds, power it back on, give it a couple minutes to restart, and then we will try this step again. Ping it. If you get a, de a, a reply within milliseconds, excellent. Uh, from this point, if you're getting a good reply, this button right here says Reset Encryption. We're going to check that, and we're going to check Enable this port, and hit OK. I want to give this probably about 30 seconds, but if you successfully start talking to the panel, you should start to see some green text appear here on the event viewer. It means you're getting a good connection, and all the changes you made to the cards are going to start uploading. If you are still not having good connection, the final check I'd have you do is right here we have new Xbox, right click. Are you currently enabled? If so, great. Then you have one or more panels down here. Right click on each one. Are you enabled? Yes. Are you enabled? Yes. If everything's enabled, you are pinging your network card, and you've done the reset encryption, you should be working. But if you're not working at this point, I would suggest to call in for further help. Thank you.